To get these caliper bolts off, we'll be using this small air-powered torque wrench. It's really small and compact, so it fits into some tight spots. But kind of sadly, its name has been it's been named Bambi. But it, it, it it's small, but it doesn't live up to the torque that it says. So it says on the box that it has 700 foot-pounds of bolt breakaway torque. Well, this thing definitely doesn't with our experience, and whether that's just like a marketing scheme to say it in different words and it's not really 700 foot-pounds or they just kind of lied, this is compact but it doesn't have 700 foot-pounds. big one back here actually does have a thousand foot-pounds. This thing we named Godzilla because it just gets everything off. So we'll have to go the old-fashioned way with a breaker bar and a cheater bar. And this just about always gets the bolt off using the leverage. Yeah, every time this thing works, So now, just with the breaker bar, we can use this and loosen it up a little bit more. And I don't know how many foot-pounds you have with that, but you have a lot of leverage, and not a lot of bolts can withstand that. Now, from here, that it's loose enough, we can move on to a half-inch ratchet. So we could just use the half-inch ratchet and take it off the rest of the way, but Bambi will take it off a little faster. So we'll just position it on, and... Forgot to turn the air compressor back on so it wasn't running really at full power. But you want to make sure just put a few drops of oil in every day you use the torque wrench, and that just keeps it running smoothly. So you want to make sure it's on reverse, and we have it on the power three, which is the highest. But if you're working with small bolts, this will break them or strip them out, and it's a good idea to flip it to one. But with the caliper bolt, it's already broken loose, and we don't have to worry about breaking it off. And now we can go ahead and take it off. There we go. So now we'll take out the bottom caliper bolt. We'll try using Bambi to see if that works. It probably won't. We'll probably have to use the uh, long extension bar. Now we'll go ahead and take this off with the big breaker bar. And yep, that broke it loose really nicely. So we'll loosen this up a little bit more there and then we can use Bambi to take it off the rest of the way. Now I really do like this swivel joint here. It's high impact and you can't bind it no matter how far you go in any direction. Now you may lose a little bit of torque but it sure is nice. 